Ladies and gentlemen, we just found a buy on this 2021 Prevo X3, originally built to be a tour bus for the country western band Midland. And those of you that know what happened in 2021, it was not a good time for the tour bus industry. And the current owner of the coach is a buddy of mine that purchased this coach a couple years ago and is now offering it for sale for $1 million, which makes it by far the cheapest 2021 Prevo we have ever shown on the channel. This coach only has 17,000 miles on it. This coach does have bus air, which is an expensive option from Prevo and is so much equipment for the money. So I'm really excited to show you this coach today. We're gonna take it for a test drive, see how it is going down the road. Yeah, I've drove for Brooks and Dunn, done the Garth Brooks tour, Rolling Stone, Tour. It is a single slide coach, so we're going to show you the coach with the slide room out, with the slide room in, and give you the full tour. Now, this is a Prevo X3, so those of you that follow the channel know about the structure. This is full monocoque construction. It is a single slide coach, but there's so much value in the safety and structure of the Prevo X3 chassis. And if you're getting just a Prevo X3 chassis, I believe they're around $700,000 new. So this coach being fully converted, ready to go down the road with only 17,000 miles is a tremendous value. Now the X3s have these huge basement bays and this first bay is wide open. It's a full pass through bay. Now this coach was built to be a tour bus. So it's gonna be a little bit different than a lot of the motorhomes we see. It's gonna be more simple. These are made to be easier to work on. They've gotta keep these A-list celebrities getting to concerts night after night so they want to keep downtime to a minimum and anything that does need to be repaired they want to make it very easy so they can keep these buses going down the road and on that note those of you that follow the channel and are familiar with the prevo industry prevo does have different service centers all over the country as well as service vans and i hear prevo owners rave about the service that they do receive from prevo even on much older prevos now the second bay has something really cool behind here that actually ties into the interior of the coach so we're gonna show you that in a moment but we've got to show you that from the inside because one of the coolest features that I think every RV should have bay 3 is gonna be another cargo bay the 20 kW generator is housed on the other side of this and if you did need to access the back side of the generator it's got a panel that could be easily taken off you could see nice spot for your tools and when we look closer inside here you can see that Prevo structure and just how robust they're built Gus it's over there, a reinforcement for that slide room. There are lights inside of these bays as well. This coach does have a 203 gallon diesel fuel tank, and this does have a little lock here. You can fill that fuel tank from both sides and put down a lot of miles with 203 gallons. So coming back into the engine bay, this has the Volvo D13 with 500 horsepower. Here we've got the chassis batteries, easy access to your fuel filter. And with only 17,000 miles on it, all of this is in excellent condition. It's such a cool style on the rear end of this X3. And then we could pop the engine hatch here with this lever. We've got easy access if you need to change any belts. And I believe in 2018, they went to the upgraded electric fans. So over here, you could see there's multiple fans. Now, one other thing that I've got to mention about this coach is the plain black paint with the stainless steel sides, a very classy look. I know some folks prefer the more sleek, more plain look. I think if the Secret Service was rolling around in a Prevo bus, it would probably look something like this. And this is gonna be the bay that houses the generator very simple this is on airbags 966 hours on the generator there is a professional driver that used to work for one of the large tour bus companies that does care for this coach he is the driver and caretaker for the current owner he says he's changed that generator oil religiously almost every time that they've used it 
And there's a lot of value in that too, just having someone that cares for this coach that understands how these buses work. We are not too far from Nashville, Tennessee, so anything they've needed done, like a couple little lights and stuff, they've stayed on top of everything, making sure everything stays in pristine condition. And we might even show you guys a car collection or a couple cars that belong to the owner of this bus. Gonna get back to the bus in a second but check out the interior on this bentley i don't even want to sit in this car it's so clean just such a beautiful interior the owner of this bus keeps everything immaculate and i actually met this gentleman several years ago when he was buying another prevo and he did a lot of homework before choosing this bus so just a lot of value here so this is going to be the wet bay you can see it's more of a marine style water heater but Everything is very easy to access, very easy to get to. You do have your holding tanks back there. I believe it's a 100 gallon freshwater tank and a 100 gallon waste tank. We're trying to get confirmation on that, but the tanks that I see look like they're at least 100 gallons each. And we do have the single slide room out right now, so I just wanna show you how easy it is to access these bays with that slide room open. There's the other side of that full pass-through bay, this Prevo structure. These gussets are reinforcements for that slide room. It's like closing a vault every time. So the owner of this coach did have an extra stainless package put on up front here just to chrome everything out. I love the look of that black and chrome. And something else that I love about these Prevo buses is just opening and closing this front door here. I mean, literally like a vault, but come on inside guys. Now we heard there may be some big celebrities in the back, so we can't go back there quite yet, but one of the nice parts about this bus is you can section off the driver area. So if you hire a driver and want your own private, you know, resident style in the back of the coach, you can just shut that off. Now coming back up to the driver's cockpit area here, one of the features that I really like that the driver just shared with me is you have this master button here. So if you wanna turn off the house batteries, all the lights and everything in the back of the coach, you can do that easily from the driver's seat to conserve those batteries. You can also turn the water pump, water heater on and off from right here, control the step lights. You have an engine block heater and a bay heater to keep those holding tanks warm. We can lock and unlock the baggage doors here, as well as windows for both sides. We've got a power window right here, power rear view mirror controls on both sides, your backup camera, tire pressure monitoring system. These are manual shades actually so you can just reach over and manually put these up and down as you need where it's just less stuff that will break when you don't have to press buttons for this and then you do have your map light right here as well nice cup holder simple dash ac and we are going to take this for a test drive in a moment to see what it's like riding in this coach up here as well as in the back of the coach and then there is some nice storage here overhead as well all lined with carpet well lit and there still is a passenger chair so if you do want your passenger to ride up front with you and still have everything closed off you can do that and they do have outlets and usb ports here as well as a cup holder all right let's check out where the rock stars hang out this is an extremely nice coach We've got the ACs blowing nice and cold on a warm day. And this is such a cool floor plan that I think is very livable, especially for families. But let's take a closer look at the salon area here. The first thing that caught my eye is the woodwork here in the ducting and the ceiling, the way the lighting is recessed, indirect lighting here. There is a little bit of like a Southwest or a Western theme in this coach with some of the pillows and the lights. But I think because of this color of the cabinets, the way everything is finished out, the floors, if someone wanted to make it a little more modern and chic, I think just changing out the pillows and a couple decor pieces could make it feel much more like a high-end yacht, beautiful woodwork, 
beautiful hardware here. And when we open and close all these doors, you know, this is a high-end coach. You still have the high-end hinges. The owner of this coach likes to say it's definitely not Winnebago qualities. Even though it's not quite as expensive as some of the two and three million dollar motorhomes, doesn't have quite as many bells and whistles, but it still has a very high build quality in this coach. So when it's time to go down the road, you can section the driver off there and it does not feel like a motorhome at all. We do have the opposing sofas, nice little spot to set a drink here. There's TVs on both sides of the salon. Regardless of where you're sitting, you have a nice view of the television and more outlets and USB ports here. And then it still does have high-end audio and video like you would expect to find. It's just a little more simple and not complex of systems. Nice drawer space up front here. Then another couch here, just beautiful finishes. When we look closely at all these textures, and all of these finishes around the window valances. And then I always like when they put cup holders in the dinette table here. This could be used as a nice workstation while you're going down the road still facing forward. Someone could also sit over here and maybe even sit around and use this as an eating space. Another simple thing that this coach has is all manual shades. If you want your, your day shades, Simply lift those up. You want your nightshades, lift those up. You're not dealing with Crestron panels. You're not dealing with motors. Just very simple, less stuff that can break. We've got the sharp microwave, really cool backsplash there with the white tiles, nice light colored countertop. You do have an induction cooktop that comes out of a drawer. I don't believe this has ever been used. And you can see, you know, dovetail construction on these drawers. Definitely very high-end quality. You can see the silverware dividers. Beautiful indirect lighting off of these floors. And these are almost like a rustic barnwood style floor. Very robust, easy to clean. They've got a matte finish with a texture in it. Very high-end flooring in this coach. A really cool refrigerator, different than what we see in RVs. Definitely more of an industrial style, even the way that these latch. Definitely more meant for a tour bus or a band to be you know, using this. Got the pull-out freezer drawer down there. Some nice pantry space here. Again, that dovetail construction on the drawers and more space down here. There's one other feature that I think every motorhome should have. And the reason I didn't show you that outside bay is, check this out. You've got this cabinet and that's just a trash can with the big trash bin downstairs in the bay. So you just throw your trash down there then it's out of the way, you're not dealing with trash cans, and you can load a lot of trash in that big trash can in the bay, and then you can take the trash out right from the bay so you're not dragging trash to the coach, and it just makes life so much easier. I'm surprised more motorhome companies don't do that. Now here we can section off the back of the coach. We've got a lot of sleeping quarters here in the back of the coach that we're gonna show you in a moment, but these are all manual doors. Again, very high build quality, but a lot of folks just like the simple doors that you can manually open and close. You're not dealing with air doors or electric doors. Just... And this coach does have five rooftop ACs. So even though it's warm today, it's staying nice and cool inside of this coach. Now up front here, we have the bathroom. Piano hinge here, very well built. That same beautiful cabinetry and hardware here. And then this actually has a good size shower. Let me show you guys the shower for size. There's actually tile work on the ceiling here. Good amount of room. I'm not gonna do jumping jacks in here, but I'm 6'2", I can stand up, no problem. Can even raise this shower head if I want. Really nice utilization of this space. Coming back to the middle of the coach, this is such a cool utilization of space. These bunks can actually adjust. So right now, it's set up with two bunks on this side of the coach and three bunks on this side of the coach. So you can have either one, two, or three bunks on both sides. Now the advantages to that is if you put all of the bunks down, you have all this headroom. So if someone's got their own bunk, it almost feels like their own room. 
and then you can also adjust it if you need this for storage. So many different arrangements that you can do with these bunks. And I'm surprised that more motorhome Prevo converters aren't building bunk model coaches. Bunk model coaches seem to be one of the most sought after coaches out there. I think folks are having kids later in life. By the time they're able to afford these Prevo buses, a lot of times they've still got children traveling with them. And it's just such a great way for families to see the country. Little curtains right here. If you wanna keep the light out, you do have individual lighting in each of these bunks. At this price point to get a Prevo with a bunk floor plan, just so much value here and the simplicity, the build quality here. This coach is checking all of the right boxes. Now you may be seeing that huge rear suite behind me. We can section off that rear suite just to keep privacy in different areas of the coach. I wanna point out how wide this door is coming into the rear suite here. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is a full king size bed and this is a north-south facing bed. If you're traveling in a tour bus going down the road, it's a lot easier to be in the north-south facing because when the driver hits the brakes, basically you're just you know shifting your weight to the front of the bed, where if the bed was turned this way, you'd be kind of rolling over side to sides. You'll see a lot of tour buses have the north-south facing beds. And I did have a chance to travel in a tour bus for about three weeks in the pandemic. When the tour bus industry got shut down, my buddy Kyle at Border Coach Leasing let me use one of his tour buses for three weeks. It was extremely efficient for me to travel at night while sleeping. And then when I'd wake up in the morning, I'd be at the next place where we would film. I'd film all day, come back here, go to bed. Driver would drive me to the next place while we were sleeping and I'd wake up ready to go back to work again. I also got a lot of editing done on the road. Just so much value in traveling by tour bus. One other really cool thing about this coach that I've talked about in other videos is you've got a spot to sit down in your bedroom. It's not quite a sofa, just a corner chair here. You wanna put your shoes on or just maybe sit down and have a phone call or something, not lay in bed, but have your bedroom back here, your own private space. We also have this huge closet in the rear suite as well as drawer space. And you can see, you know, those big hinges, very robust, and then that cool style hardware there on these doors. All of the cool woodwork here and the ceiling around this recessed lighting, just such a high-end feel back here. And it does have a little bit of that Western vibe. Maybe putting a white bedspread and maybe changing these lights would make it very modern in this coach. And then I also wanna point out all of the AC vents ducted through. You've got a lot of cooling capability with those five AC units. And then check out these beautiful carpets here. Very high-end carpets in this coach. And you have a nice little nightstand here. Nice drawer space lined with carpet. And you've got some of your audio components housed back here. You can separate the stereos as well. And then you have a huge closet along the back of the coach. You would need to climb over the bed to access that. Cool little design cues like these leather panels on the wall. I love the saddle color leather. And then all of the light switches, the air conditioning controls, everything is very simple. You've got all hard switches. You're not dealing with the big Crestron panels that can get a little complex. Very simple bus overall. All right, guys, the real magic of the Prevo bus is while it's going down the road. So let's take it for a test drive. And then we're gonna walk through this coach and see how it rides going down the road. All right, guys, we're rolling down the road here. I'm trying to get you guys the best drone shots. So we're getting all this equipment going, but just wanted to show you guys what it's like. We do have all the blinds down right now, but pop that open. You could see it is a nice day here in Boonville, Mississippi, but I like having all the blinds down while we're going down the road and you almost forget that you're in a bus. Driver, I Paul, we're gonna shut you off here uh, so you don't have to listen to us. So you can shut that door and we're, we're rolling right now, ladies and gentlemen. So now he is probably stopping and going. So if I uh, have a sudden move, that is part of the game here. It still is a moving vehicle. And when we don't have the, uh, the blinds open, we can't really see what turns he's making. I mean, check this out, guys. This is incredible. Can you believe we're going down the road right now? And this is how the A-list celebrities travel. This bus was originally built 
for the country band Midland. You guys may know Midland, but now this coach is available for someone else. So let's go check in with the driver here. Let's see if he's got any good stories for us. Let's see what it's like in the front of the coach going down the road. Now, these are some pretty rough roads that we're rolling on. This Prevo shell just really handles these roads nicely. Our friend Danny here was tour bus driver for several years. Danny, you have any good stories for us, sir? It's broke center coach for a good while. I enjoyed that. Now, just you know, driving every other weekend or something, working with a great guy and everything's going good. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've drove for like Brooks and Dunn, Dunn and Garth Brooks tour, Rolling Stones tour, different ones. So fun, way to live for a while. This Prevo bus, you know, compared to other Prevo buses that you've driven, how does this compare? Oh, it's, I love it. It's good. Yes, sir. It's real good. Smooth, don't rattle. Just love it. Well, we appreciate you showing us around here. And I'll tell you what, we're going on another kind of a more bumpier road. So let's just listen for rattles in the back of the coach. I just want everyone to hear. I mean, the drone, you can see how the drone is just kind of sitting there. This is, this is really smooth. I mean, I was not expecting this bus to be this smooth, to be completely honest. At this price point, million dollars. It's probably a little easier to open these with two. Oh, these do have the little open and close. I don't want to do it while we're going down the road. It is an emergency exit as well, but if you just want to vent it out and get a little fresh air in here, these windows do tilt out with this little button right here. All right, guys, we've been traveling on airplanes all day today to come up here to Mississippi. And I'll tell you what, it would be nice to get to the point where we could travel in one of these. It's like being at home, I could sit here, get video editing done, turn on a TV. Just so much value in these tour buses. You're not going through TSA. You're not getting thrown in a cattle car with a bunch of strangers. You could make a meal going down the road. This might be the best way to travel and the best way to see the country. This coach is available for $1 million, but the seller does have some other projects that he wants to work on. So I'll leave the seller's phone number and email address in the description below. So if you are a serious buyer you definitely want to jump on this coach it is a great opportunity and danny i gotta say thanks for driving us around today appreciate, appreciate you sharing it. your stories enjoyed y'all coming down any other crazy tour bus stories that you want to share with the folks on youtube while we got you here i better stay quiet that's what i hear these <laughs> drivers have tight lives so really appreciate you sir also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel we hope you're all having a great day thanks again mm -hmm.